What's crazy is like when Ovi might exit the league when this kid comes in. I mean, how crazy is that? I don't know. Based on what I've been seeing so far, he's going to be exiting the league in a couple weeks. Oh, don't say that. 38 years old, Alex Ovechkin. It's so crazy because like when he was like 35, 36, 37, it, it didn't like dawn on me. Like he's getting old. I'm like, oh, it's still Ovi. He's doing his thing. Whatever. Crosby's you know, getting up there in age too. But with the start of the season that he's had, that that number just con- it, it stands out bold italic more than it ever has. I feel like, man, first two games for Ovechkin this year didn't record a single shot on net. And that was a career low for him. Finally has has a few. I think he got four shots in his last game and two assists. So he's finally on the board with some points. Still no goals, dude. Yeah, Um Obviously, way too early to overreact on a lot of things, which, I mean, Wild fans need to hear this. Edmonton we're about fans to. need to hear this. But <laughs> Yet we're about to in the next segment. <laughs> when you talk about the Capitals, like, based on the small sample size, I was very wrong. I thought they'd be, like, in the bubble area, like, on the fringe of, like, just miss or just make it in for the playoffs. They all look slow. Like, oh, this yeah. Every looks one like of them. an old team. And the fact that they all look slow – and Ovi looks slower than everyone else is a real fucking concern. Like last year, we thought it was an absolute lock that this guy's absolutely going to break Gretzky's record. I am not so sure. And again, this is early, very early. It's an October reaction, right? But it is, I, I'm second guessing it now. Whereas coming into the season, I wouldn't have like had a second's hesitation. So I don't know. It's uh, I hate the Capitals, like because the rivalry and whatnot. But like, there's still something to be said for greatness. And like, mm-hmm. I, I take it back. Capitals fans probably aren't as logical about it. But like, I want to see Ovi and Crosby doing it as long as they can. Yeah. And I, it's it's sad to see him fall off the hill this fast. I hope this is just a blip at the start of the season. Whatever, but. He really I hope he, looks slow. I hope he used training camp. I mean, I, I this uh, this sucks if you're a Caps fan, but I hope as an Ovi fan, I hope he used training camp to get in shape, and it's just going to take him, you know, a, a couple extra weeks to get into the rhythm. I mean, that that's that that's all I can hope for, right? Is that he just like he until until the until the day that he had to report to camp, he was just Corona, Doctor Pepper, kebabs. Mm-mm. See, the problem is they switched out his Dr. Pepper for diet Dr. Pepper. No, no. And it's fucking everything up. He needs that sugar rush. That's what gives him that jolt, that buzz to get up and down the ice. And he doesn't uh, need smelling salts. He needs the How he needs does the he Dr. not Pepper. have a Dr. Pepper sponsorship, by the way? Like, how is that not a thing? Yeah. Maybe it's sanctioned in Russia. Everything's fucking sanctioned in Russia. Maybe he's allowed to have a I don't know. I was trying to think of some other like fake Dr. Russian name for a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> you know, in Russia, they have like different names. Like McDonald's isn't McDonald's, but it's McDonald's, right? It's just a different name and it's a different, it's like a different type of art. Wait, so are you, are you saying, Isha, that in different countries, people say the same thing as us, but with different words? No, no, no. Like it's a completely like, like language. No, no, no. Like when the sanctions happened in Russia, they kept all like the McDonald's buildings and like, kind of the logos and colors but just literally switched up a different franchise but are trying to copy it still so instead of a mech double it's like it's just, it's something completely different but it's still they're presenting it you know but it's not mcdonald's owned at all i'm it's not explaining sure. this well am i no it's for sure <laughs> of donald's <laughs> i'll have an of double i'll have some of nuggets <laughs> It's, I'm laughing so hard, guys, because I literally just covered a whole fucking UFC card that was in Abu Dhabi and all the OVs and EVs and everything. Like, it was, just, it was too much for a weekend, okay? I'm done with the fucking Russian caucus OVs. <laughs> oh, man. No, but that's did, actually did, it. I, I'm done. I it, it, honestly, it. it might be because I watched a whole YouTube video on it recently. But anyways, um, one bright spot, I guess for the Capitals is they do have a new younger speedy and the lightest player in the modern era to ever play in the national hockey league, uh, former Victoria Royals and Calgary flame, uh, Matthew Phillips. 
um before z joined our youtube channel too he that was the the highest viewed video on our channel was us talking about matthew phillips over a year ago but uh he fucking weighs 140 pounds how has he not died he's that fast he's a speedy little fucker someone's gonna catch him eventually oh eventually <laughs> but but for right now he's got one goal two assists in four games and he is all that the capitals media is talking about and you know what props to him dude an undersized guy who was a he was a superstar in the dub but because of his size i think he drafted super super late where was it here yeah drafted in the sixth round 166th overall in 2016 absolutely dominated in the ahl he ripped stockton apart and the flames never gave him a chance and so the washington capitals they take a chance on him and right out of camp he's uh He's doing well on the team. I think Sutter in particular didn't give him a chance. Well, yeah, you looked at him. He's like, no, but, you're too small. Well, but it, it is different though, man. Like Marty St. Louis, small. He weighed 180 pounds, not 140. Like he is going to get hurt. Like I'm, I am not sitting here talking shit or chirping him. Like good for him that he's like made it this far. I hope that he does not die. He he only is he's only been hurt once in the jungle. So like in the AHL. And and that's arguably a harder hitting league. So I I'm I'm just saying, like from, from what I've seen right now, I, I'm not disputing you that like it someone's gonna catch him. Especially, I mean, if they make the playoffs too, or you know what I mean? Like if when the game gets a little bit more rougher, or there's instances or series even within the season, rivalry games, whatever. Um, it's going to be tough, but like from what I've seen, I, I'm, and again, this is a little bit of bias. Obviously I, I watched him play in Victoria. I, I saw him put up hundred point seasons in the dub, but dude, last season with the Calgary Wranglers, 66 games, 76 points the year before 68 points in 65 games, 36 goals, 31 goals. Like he's a stud man. So I'm interested to see if he can continue this pace and can uh, adapt to the national hockey league game. And, and maybe, you know, maybe, Shoot, maybe he calls up Marty in the offseason and goes, yo, give me your fucking squat uh, regiment here. I got I to gotta put on at least 20 pounds on these bad boys. He's going to need like 20 years to even <laughs> scratch a surface on that. I don't know, former Flame? I mean, this he's basically Marty St. Louis 2.0, dude. Flames gave up on him, goes to a new team, starts lighting it up. I'm, it, the, the writing is on the wall, dude. Marty's right quad is bigger than this kid. <laughs> I'm not going to dispute that. <laughs> Man, all right. Anyways, keep 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 your eyes on him. He's uh he's not hard to miss and he's fun he's fun to watch.